Hello, and welcome to a very special Gundam Battle Operation 2 featuring the refined Z or Gundam Zeta ID, a unit that appeared in Moon Gundam and was considered for mass production but was never actually put into it. It's effectively a simplified Zeta in a lot of ways. And this version is a support that is ground and space capable. It comes in at the beginning cost of 600 with a ballistic resistance of 28, a beam resistance of 24, a melee resistance of 14, a range strength of 32, a melee strength of 28, a movement speed of a very nice 130, and a thrust gauge of 70. For parts, we have close range of 13, medium of 17, and long range of 14. And of course, it is a transformable suit. For equipment, we have the re Beam Smart Gun. It's a heat-based weapon that can be charged. When it's not charged, it fires a burst of, I believe, three beams. Uh, spaced out from one another. We got the beam saber, so you can smack people. We have the head-mounted Vulcan MK2. We have the chest Gatlin gun. Do not sleep on this. This actually does some pretty decent damage along with the head-mounted Vulcan. And then we have the arm grenade launcher. It's pretty standard to what most people are expecting when they, they use these. And then we have the Jigen, effectively similar to the Jigen, waist-mounted grenades. And, of course, we get a nice, large shield. When transformed, you have the beam smart rifle. <laughs> yeah, doing good. For skills, we have high performance radar level 3, high performance scope level 2, observational data link, scouting parallel processing device, the high spec High Performance Aerospace Gimbal Level 2, pardon me, Transform, Transform Flight, Flight Control Program Level 2, Glide Structure Level 4, High Performance Balancers, High Spec and Back Level 2, Forced Injector, nice, Special Leg Buffer, and Special Back Add-On Buffer Level 2. What can I say about this unit? I actually quite like this unit. It's fairly straightforward. It has some elements of it that are very similar to plain other units. If you've played a, uh, a Jigen or a, a Jetta, you're going to find a couple of the weapons work very similar to those units. It has a very nice ranged weapon. It's got some flexibility when it comes to movement, especially since it can transform. And it has force injectors. I think this is all around a fantastic support. And it's very easy to learn and understand. And, hey, I just like the Zeta Gundam. So there we go. Let's see how it does in the match to come. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the match. I uh, hope you're having a fantastic time. And, well, I'd, um, I don't know how long ago I got this unit. But I decided to pull her out and uh, see how she did. And I really do like the Zeta Gundam. Um, the double Zeta is not really my thing, but I, I really like that. And I like the re, uh, well, the refined Gundam Zeta, or the Rigazi as I always called it. Um, but this unit's got some pretty good things going for it. There's not going to be a lot of transformations in here because I was trying not to get murdered. So. We're going to push forward, I'm going to throw a little bit of fire out, test ourselves. Uh, I didn't have a huge amount of experience and I forgot kind of the ranges on some of it, at least from a visual standpoint. So I'm trying to throw some fire out. I see a guy to my right and my team's going to sit there and watch as I get axed. Um, he's going to uh, break dance as hard as he can, but that's about all he had, so he left. And uh, we're going to have to deal with him a little bit more, catch him with that. And we're going to switch over here. He's going to hit me with something he should never have been able to hit me with. And he's going to finish me off. So there's our first death because our team likes to watch. So we're going to spawn at home. Our team has decided they're going to take the strategy of spreading out as far as they can. So I'm going to come around the rock to try to support two and three. Well, three's gone, so I'm going to try to support two. 
And of course it's my breakdancing friend who will give a little fumpy to fump. Then take him out real quick. And we're going to use those head Vulcans because they do some actually meaty damage. Um, especially with this unit. And we're going to push up. We're going to do a little bit more trying to support our guys in here. We're going to fire into him. We're going to switch over to our chest. And we're just going to pump some rounds with this guy. And I don't want him doing too much much pushing on the uh, our Doga friend here. So we're just going to come in, help our team lock him up. Now, this unit can go from the chest-mounted Vulcans and the head Vulcans and just go from one to the other and just put ridiculous amounts of damage out. The beam smart gun is great, um, but you got to be careful with it. You know, be mindful of the heat. It is good for picking at long range, so we're going to be trying to maintain our range and throwing out some damage to uh, support our guys. Those uh, chest mounted Vulcans got some decent range. And we're not going to do stupendous amounts of damage, but we're going to do decent amounts of damage. Now I see the guy off to my left, but I'm trying to help with the front line as they uh, overextend themselves and then push back. Uh, I believe the perfect Gundam is getting a little too aggressive, but I'm going to keep the chucking out as much as I can to try to uh, deter some of them from being too aggressive. I'm not going to be able to stop them from uh, smacking my dude in the face, but I am going to be able to throw enough fire out that he's not going to want to stand there. Um, I am using the uh, Beam Smart Gun Uncharged just to throw out a volume of fire more than trying to get big shots in. Especially when you have this many targets, sometimes it's just about hitting somebody. So I'm going to try to get shots on this guy, but he's right above me. We we'll come in, fire there, throw the Vulcans on, and try to uh, dissuade our friend here. We're going to go in for a little melee, but he's just too fast for us at that point. And, well, there are more important things than that, so we'll come in and push these guys a little. Um, our line is very, very bad <laughs> most of this round. So I'm going to trade some shots with uh, the Garadoga Kai and uh, he's going to get taken out by our friend. Now I'm going to try to push up here as quickly as I can to uh, try to help our team out, throw some damage out on him. He's gone. This is a very good unit in uh, helping support from a damage perspective of your team. Um, it's more effective if your team actually, you know, act like a team and don't scatter their wind, but that's neither here nor there. So we're going to push forward a little bit, we're going to fire, catch that shield, and we're going to switch over to the chest mounted Vulcan just to get a little extra damage in there. And, uh, Oof, I don't really like that unit that I'm shooting, and I never remember its name. But uh, we're going to keep throwing out the damage, trying to keep the line going, but we're at a point right here where we don't really have what I would call a, a viable line as we catch him with a big shot there and then throw the, uh, the chest-mounted Vulcans in. Uh, we're overextended, and we're trying to throw out as much damage as we can. Mostly, we just want to try to, uh, well, get whoever's in front and kill them first and allow the guys behind to either get deterred or, well, get to become the focus of the fire. But, uh, in general, this unit does actually pay off for a bit of a, a movement kind of based play style. And, um, I don't know, I'm, I think it's pretty dang good as we take that guy out. We're going to push a little bit, mostly because I'm trying to back up my guy here. I'm going to miss with that big shot, but we're going to just keep putting the pressure on him with the uh, ballistics. He's going to get taken out real quick. Now, I don't remember, there's a guy behind us at the base, and I wasn't sure if I should uh, turn around and try to deal with that or keep backing up my guys here who were overextending at this point. And, um... This is not a good position to go into. We're going to catch that guy there. We're going to throw some shots down 
range and try to keep at least our guy from getting immediately killed. But he refuses to come out of there and we're, we're in a bit of an ugly situation. We're going to throw some damage there for a little bit of shots. I'm, I know he wants to come around the rock, so I'm being a little bit more uh, cautious on my end. But we're going to use the chest Vulcans again. And we're going to turn and try to throw some damage over their way to try to, well, slow down the uh, their abilities to uh, go after a guy. But it's taking a lot of pushing, and that's not always a good thing, especially in space, because it's very, very easy to, um, to find yourself further out than the rest of your team, like I am right now. And I'm going to pay for it in a very bad way. Uh, so we're going to get punched in the face. Um, and we're going to attempt to transform and run away bravely. But we're going to get taken out at point blank range. And, uh, well, we secured the victory. But we didn't have to uh, push that hard. But five was very determined. So, um... If you're a raid, it's not always great to be the most aggressive person that exists, just to say. So let's see as we wrap up on the match here. All right, victory pose, looking sharp. And no board position, but third place. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.